Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to build a human post estimation using OpenCV and MediaPipe. So OpenCV and MediaPipe, uh, these two modules we are going to use in this project. With the help of uh, MediaPipe, uh, we are going to uh, estimate or uh, track the moments on all parts of our body. So I am going to show you how to use uh, in terms like a recorded video and also in real time. We can also change this to real time. So that will be better. Now the first step is to install modules. Before that I will leave some space and here install modules. Okay for this we have to install like two modules. One is OpenCV and uh, MediaPipe. So exclamation mark pip install opencv python and uh, one more module is pip install media pipe so you can install both of these things in the jupyter notebook itself uh, i already installed it so i'll just uh, skip this one and the next step will be importing the modules import modules so here I am going to import CV2 and uh, media pipe. So import media pipe as MP. Run this. Now the modules has been imported successfully. So if you face errors means try to um, uh, debug the issue. I didn't face any error for Im installing uh, media pipe. I hope you also uh, successfully install this module. And after that uh, we can initialize the post estimator. So initialize post estimator. Okay, first media pipe of drawing drawing equals mp dot solutions dot drawing utils. So using this, uh, we can just uh, draw that um, uh, skeleton like structure on our body in order to track the moments. So this is one thing and another thing is uh, human pose. So apart from like this human body pose, uh, we can also recognize hands, face, etc. So I will uh, create a separate video for uh, those projects. So here MP dot solutions dot pose. And third one will be pose equals MP underscore pose dot pose so this is like a constructor uh, we are going to pass few arguments so first one will be minimum detection confidence so that will be 0 0.5 so this is the confidence level this is like a threshold so try to uh, vary the threshold uh, depends on your uh, use case or the environment so higher the threshold means uh, only it will display your uh, uh, skeleton when it has like higher uh, confidence. So this is like a minimum uh, detection. I'm just saying like 0 0.5 and uh, minimum tracking confidence, tracking confidence, confidence equals 0 0.5. So usually uh, when you are using like normal body pose estimation, if you are creating a, your own module means uh, you will be detecting the uh, body pose like for each frame. This will uh, greatly impact the performance. So with the help of tracking, we can avoid these things. Now I'm also setting some tracking confidence. So that is also like 0 0.5. And again, you can adjust this uh, threshold later. Run this. So the basic initialization has been done. Apart from this, uh, we will also see what are the possible points we can get from this uh, uh, media pipe post detection. So for that, I have an image. So I'll just uh, import here. Source equals that will be post landmarks, post landmarks dot png. So this is the um, points we can get from this module so they are having like uh, 33 points so it's starting from zero this is the facial points this is like 
uh, common hand points and this is a uh, normal skeleton like the whole body is uh, covered and with the help of uh, these uh, specific points uh, you can uh, build some uh, application like uh, an exercise app or uh, some uh, animation app uh, you can control few things uh, with the help of these uh, points so all these things uh, we will try to uh, create some new projects with this baseline so it will be very helpful for us and uh, as you can see in the face and hands we have like fewer points only uh, if you want to specifically go for uh, face or hands means uh, we can initialize another modules we will cover that in detail later so with the help of those modules, we can track more points in the face or hands. Currently uh, for the body, uh, it covers all the major points uh, in our uh, whole body. So this is the image for our reference and you can get these exact points with the help of these uh, indexes also. So these are the things possible. Now let's uh, go for the main logic. So post estimation for video. So this is uh, the post estimation for the recorded video. And apart from that, uh, I will do it for the real time. So I'll call it as real time post estimation. Okay. Now let's uh, do the coding part. First capture equals cv2 dot video capture video capture of I have a test video uh, I will upload it in the github you can also use this test video for testing purpose so I'm gonna use this video and uh, in the while loop until the video is uh, opened cap dot is opened so this will just uh, get each frame. So we will uh, read the frame in the next line. So read frame. So this will give some info that is not needed. We just need the frame. Frame equals cap dot read. So this whole looping uh, process occurs until the uh, until it reaches the end of the video. So until that, uh, it will just uh, try to get each frame one by one. Now in the try block, we will get the frame. We already got the frame. So I'll just uh, resize it. Resize the frame. Because the video is in like a portrait uh, manner. That's why I'm resizing accordingly. For portrait video in order to cover the whole body. Now frame equals cv2 dot resize off give the frame as it is and uh, set some uh, resolution i'll go for 350 comma 600 so this works fine for this particular video uh, if you want to uh, change to some other video means you have to change the resolution now convert the frame to rgb convert to rgb so initially if you use uh, cv2 uh, to extract the frames means it will uh, be in the format like bgr we have to convert to rgb so for that frame underscore rgb equals cv2 dot convert color frame comma cv2 dot color underscore underscore bgr2 rgb so this is the conversion from bgr we are converting to rgb and after that we will uh, do the process process the frame for post detection now here I will call it as post results post results equals post dot process of frame underscore RGB. Now 
in this variable we will get all the results you can also print the results if you want I'll just print it once please to show post results dot landmarks landmarks so first I'll just uh, read it like one frame and uh, see what are the landmarks we are getting and uh, also we need the except block so in the except like if it fails means it will uh, try to break it now run this once okay uh, this is an error I guess I have to uh, change this so post results dot post landmarks okay here um, as you can already uh, see we can just uh, get all the landmarks here if you want to get some particular landmark means uh, you can use like this post results dot post landmarks dot landmark of that particular index so based on the index uh, you can get the particular uh, point so if I say 0 means it will give us the nose and if I say uh, 32 means it will give us the uh, right foot index so like this uh, it will give you all the landmarks with the help of this uh, syntax so I will comment this one out get point get landmark for a specific point okay now I'll come on this uh, landmark post also we don't need it now now after this uh, we have to draw the skeleton uh, in the frame so draw skeleton on the frame I'll say mp underscore drawing we have initialized this before now draw landmarks landmarks of the frame results sorry this will be post results post results dot post landmarks post landmarks and uh, mp of sorry mp underscore post this is the one we have initialized it here mp dot post of post connections okay that is it after drawing on this frame we will uh, finally display it in the uh, window so display the frame here cv2 dot i am show off you can call this as output itself some title for the window and the frame if it faces any error in this try block means it will just go to the accept and break the whole loop and apart from that if cv2 dot wait key so this will be caps wait key of one equals odd order of q okay if we press q means it will we will also set break so if you press q in the keyboard uh, it will uh, break the loop so we will avoid uh, continuous running and uh, some kind of an infinite loop if you are going for real time so we are going to use the same code for the real time and finally cap dot release so this is for uh, this one the opened uh, part so after that we will just release this object whatever we are capturing and finally cv2 dot destroy all windows destroy all windows so this will just uh, close whatever windows uh, that has been opened before now uh, i think everything is uh, good to go so we just uh, read the frame resize it and convert the color uh, to bgr to rgb and finally process the whole frame and get the pose 
and draw the skeleton in the frame and finally we are displaying the frame so this is like a simple process for us uh, because of the uh, media pipe module or else we have to build a whole uh, deep learning or neural network uh, model uh, separately for uh, estimating uh, all these things now let's run this so this is the video as you can able to see uh, there is not much lag and uh, it is good you can see all the movements are uh, tracking perfectly so you can see uh, the movements even the feet movements are uh, capturing uh, perfectly all the movements are tracking so that is the uh, test video i have got uh, for uh, squats so you can uh, definitely use this uh, module for uh, building some exercise tracking app and uh, some post estimation even for yoga any other thing it it's on your uh, creativity now we will do the same thing for real time post estimation just copy everything paste it here instead of a video you just have to set a number so that will be zero so if you have multiple web webcams means uh, you have to set some uh, number accordingly so here zero means it's like a default device if you have multiple webcams you can also go for one or two um but i think most of you guys will have like only one but i guess most of you guys will have like one web webcam so just uh, specify zero currently i don't have the webcam i just need to use some software in order to connect to my phone and uh, do some real time testing so just give me a minute i'll just uh, quickly uh, connect that phone as a webcam so for this one i am not going to resize the frame so i'll just uh, command this one out sorry this is the command one and uh, so now uh, you can see i am uh, currently uh, connected to my phone camera and it is running and let's see uh, whether it's uh, detecting my uh, whole body so as you can able to see uh, the real time post estimation uh, works very well and uh, it's able to uh, capture uh, all the things in real time and do the tracking maybe you can also adjust this uh, tracking confidence or uh, minimum detection confidence in order to uh, tweak the module and uh, get some good results so this is how you can uh, do a real time human post detection uh, using a uh, media pipe and the results are uh, quite fantastic i didn't like expect this much uh, good results uh, when i start doing this uh, project but it is really uh, giving us a uh, good results and uh, that's it guys if you have any other uh, ideas on this projects please leave a comment below and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos see you guys in the next video